Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy LS Chevy Ride 254. We tuned in for another one. Uh, I just left the doctor's office uh, and going to get my oil changed. Uh, follow up on that knee, man. I gotta, gotta make sure that don't happen no more, man. Like, I, I thought I was down and out for the count. You feel me? Um, so, what's going on is, uh, as the need is getting better. Uh, I don't know if y'all caught the live video the other day. You know what I'm saying? I just want to get on and kick with y'all, converse with y'all. Because when you know you shooting a YouTube video, it's it's kind of one-sided until people coming. So uh, I had a a good time. I stayed on there for about an hour. Uh, I was talking to a couple guys. Uh, I was talking to Sean's Designs. I was talking to uh, Joseph Kane. Um, a couple other people. Um, if I don't call your name, you know, charge it to my head and I'm a heart. Yeah, man, they, they got some stuff coming together as well. Um, so it, it was just good to kind of have a two-way conversation, you know what I'm saying, with my YouTube following community subscribers and everything. Um, so yeah, I, I thought something that was interesting is that I just came from getting my oil change in the Ram. Um, it was actually free. Um, he said that my Ram came with something that was some called ram care or whatever so my first four uh tyro uh, or i get four free oil changes and four free uh tire rotations a year um i bought the truck back in november uh here it is march uh i got 6700 miles on it actually closer to 6750 um This week, um, I'm going to be cleaning out the back of the truck um, so I can slide that out and try to get the Chevy up in there. Uh, I don't think I have no, I don't have any bookings that I know of for this uh, coming up weekend. Um, so I think that would be a great opportunity to be able to I'm saying slide this transmission back, um, check on that flywheel, get it torqued up, all that good stuff, and then put it back off in there. Um, I was gonna pull everything, but I really think there's gonna be a harder way. Um, I'm gonna try it this way first, and then hopefully. Hopefully I'll be able to get to it easier that way. You know what I'm saying just slide the transmission back. My biggest thing is like I got big ass hands, yo. So like getting between the firewood hall and getting the bell housing bolts is a bitch. Like of all the shit I do on cars, like the things that I most certainly don't want to do is fooling with them fucking springs. Like the shocks and shit in the front. And also, I don't want to fool with um, the bell house. Like, tight spaces. Like, although I love working on cars, the tight spacing is. It sucks. So, um, these Chevys actually have quite a bit of room. Um, but I got big ass hands. So, that's sometimes takes away from it. So, what I may need to do to give me as much room as possible, uh, I might take out the intake. Uh, they, that'll, help, that'll help me get back behind there. And, uh, take out the intake um, and do it that way. Um, yeah. I'm just kind of going through my scenarios in my mind what's going to make it 
as easy as possible, you know what I'm saying, to, to do this thing. And um, that's why it's so important that um, you do this shit right the first time. Um, it's like one of those that's so raving moments. Like when I kind of verified um, through a couple friends um, that it was a flywheel, then I had like a moment that like I went back and I was like, zoned out, I'm like, oh shit, I didn't torque them. I don't think, they might, I mean, it might not even been a torque, cause I know I tightened them down, probably over torqued them, you know what I'm saying? But because the thread ceiling and the Loctite wasn't on there, like they wasn't staying. So being that that's a critical moving part, you know, and that would explain why in the beginning they wasn't doing it, and then after I crunked some, um, it was doing it. So no, no, nothing major. Um, like I said, just slide the train, Mr. Bay. It's gonna be a whole lot easier than pulling all that shit out. Like I know that, like beyond the shadow of a doubt in my mind. And I really wish I would have kind of knew that before. You know what I'm saying? Because you know there was a lot of idle time. Well, not necessarily idle time because I was still finishing school uh, where I could have done it. But now I'm done with school. Um, and like I said, within this week or so, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to go ahead and get it knocked out and get it done. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everything I pretty much do, I do that shit by myself. So, uh, yeah. So, I'll get it done and when I do, y'all will know. So, it's definitely, um, I just got to get that C10, the stuff out of the back of the C10, uh, whatever needs to be taken out, slide it to the side of the garage, you know what I'm saying, stack this shit up. 